everyone, so today we're diving into the recent launch of NVIDIA's RTX 50 series GPUs. It's been a wild ride with availability issues and some pretty steep pricing, but there's a lot to unpack here. Let's get into the details and what this all means for us, especially if you're a gamer. First off, I want to talk about the excitement and maybe a bit of anxiety surrounding these new graphics cards. NVIDIA has dropped some leaks regarding the specs for the RTX 5060 and 5050 series, and honestly, it's pretty thrilling. Ah, uh, I mean, these low-rank cards are super important for the gaming community. Not everyone can shell out big bucks for the high-end models, you know? Now, when we look at the specs, it's like a whole new world. The CUDA cores are a big deal. More cores typically mean better performance, and that's what gamers are after right? It's like you want smooth gameplay, especially with everything being so competitive these days. And then there's the transition from GDDR6 to GDDR7. That's something that could really boost memory performance. I mean, we're all craving those higher frame rates and better graphics, especially if you're into one for 4OP or 4K gaming. But, oh, let's not forget about power consumption trends. It's a balancing act, really. You want power but not at the cost of your electricity bill, right? So, comparing the 5060 and 5050 to previous models, there's definitely a lot to consider. It's like, how do these new cards stack up against what we've already seen? The numbers can be mind-boggling, but they're crucial for deciding what to invest in. And speaking of investment, who are these new GPUs really aimed at? Obviously. PC gamers are the primary audience. There's still a huge demand for 108 OP gaming, and that's not going away anytime soon. It's like every gamer wants to make sure they can run their favorite titles without any hiccups, especially in this landscape where gaming is so popular. Now, I want to take a moment to talk about the potential impact on gaming experiences. There are some memory bus limitations we need to keep an eye on. If these new cards can't handle the load, it could really affect performance. But I'm hopeful. I mean, we're expecting some solid performance at higher resolutions. It's all about pushing boundaries and seeing where this tech can take us. So, wrapping this all up, I think there are some real potential benefits to look forward to with these upcoming GPUs. It feels like we're on the brink of something exciting, and I encourage you all to stay informed about future announcements and availability. It's just, um, so important to keep your finger on the pulse of what's happening in the gaming world. If you found this information helpful or interesting, please like, subscribe, and drop a comment below. Let's keep this conversation going. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the RTX 50 series and what you're hoping to see. Honestly, reflecting on this whole situation, I feel both excited and a bit overwhelmed. There's so much potential, but also a lot of uncertainty. It's a reminder that in the tech world, things are always evolving, and we have to adapt. But, you know, there's a silver lining here. It's great to see companies pushing for innovation and trying to cater to all types of gamers, even those on a budget. So, let's embrace that and stay positive. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Let's keep supporting each other in this gaming journey.